Okay. Things are working. Computer's back on. Outlast, don't you dare go non-responsive when I launch you. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It was just, it was, it was okay. We're here. We're, we're gonna have the whistleblower times of the DLC. <laughs> I panicked for a second just because of the little preview my dashboard can cut up and I was like, please tell me it's actually detecting the game, even though OBS is there detecting the game. Like, of course it can detect the game. Breathe. It's okay. Okay. Whistleblower time. No. Could you imagine how long we'd be here? <laughs> oh, I think, I think I was talking about something weird. I'm not gonna lie. I caught the bit about there's always a girl with the, about the with the carrot, and I was like, yeah, that's the yeah, this is standard Pego stream. Okay, yeah. And I was like, okay, Outlast. Oh, we gotta cut the scene. Hello. Who are you? Who am I? Am I alive? <laughs> open those eyes. You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. Um. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. I don't think I. I really don't want your help. Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, <laughs> yeah, they said yeah. Hope made a lateral ascension. Did we hope? Shit. And they're not happy about it? No. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on. <laughs> so what, I don't, I'm not sure I want to know what's going on with two hours early. Oh boy. Stop from thinking that. You're a bit more funny. Okay. Oh! Pego sees this, writes it down. No. Oh. You don't know me after me. I'm only gonna do two weeks of solo. I'm so gonna couple things out. This is the person who gave Miles the tip. Am I the person that. We're playing as the person who gave Miles the tip? Ooh. And I guess they tracked me down, or I'm an employee with them and they caught me. Either way, they found out. Hello, Sorexia. I, I finally made my way back. Imagine all if I'm if I'm literally an insider, like I'm in the bill in the corporation. Do we get to find out so much more cool shit about the whacked up stuff that's happening? Because because we'll actually know. But yes, send the fucking email. I'm so paranoid. Nothing. Nothing at all, Mr. Voice. None at all. Hello. I appear to have converse, and that's all I can really tell. Clark? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Oh. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. <laughs> Alright, I guess I better go. Now, is this the same? Are we... In the same... Like, we in the same underground facility, or are we in a different one? Because in the cutscene, it sounds like it's another one. Why weren't you answering the page? I was distracted. I was busy. Most women get excited when they get proposed. Who gets excited when she plays a game? Who doesn't get excited when they play a game? I want to know the. That's right. I wanted to know. I want. I wanted to know all the cool spoopy details. Oh, looking back, sorry. I've been sending. How you do? Yuki, don't be sorry for being sappy. Okay, you got a life and you know time zone stuff. So I'm sure. I have to head out in town. Job stuffs. Ooh, sounds exciting. I hope it's fun job stuffs, or at least good job stuffs. Yeah. Alright. I'll assume this is. Now, my guess is yes, this is Mount, Mount Hope's one. We're here when shit goes down. 
don't know if we're here whenever Miles ended everything. But I'd say the guys who took us off, the creepy dude two hours, two hours later than now, probably maybe took us off somewhere where it's definitely in a further off side room. I liked, in my head canon right now is that it was out in a different location, but it probably isn't. Price, Waylon, hurry up, they're waiting on you. It's a bit weird seeing everyone alive. In like the places you see the bodies. Oh. So is this what we're playing as the enemy? I, well, we're playing as the guy that sent Miles the email to check this place out. I don't think we're the enemy so much as what, what, we're literally the whistleblower. We're like, holy shit, the people I work for are doing so fucked up shit. We gotta expose this. I th I th that's what I'm figuring. Hey, Ole, how is it going? Cutting it close, an excavation's incoming, and arterial spin is still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Okay, Ms. Oh, it's weird being in here and everything operational. They've got Gluskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this part guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. They're happy. They're happy with me. Or good night. I'd Again, so, so, uh, it's the first time we spoke, so I, my main thing is I love you to say good night. So if you're going, then good night. But if you're not, then hello. <laughs> Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Of course, Mr. <sighs> Mr. What's your name? You, Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. <laughs> Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Ooh. No, not again. Damn, I feel bad more for Billy. Help me! Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you can stop this! You have to help me! He knows. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security... It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Totally eager. It seems like a wonderful place for you. Doesn't it, Jeremy? Let's see, so you talked to the report about this guy. Remember that quantum break came. Haven't planned. Five seconds. Hold. Mm -hmm. Not the engine. Mr. Watson. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good news. No, this is Addy Gluskin. So I guess You're he finished, didn't Mr. work. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect Maybe he's the bloody one, one that we found as Miles. I forgot that's what the server room. Let's hope I won't run that short. There's nothing on this one here. Have a good game, everybody. Thanks, LA. Have a good night. You're done here. Those wires not blood. It's okay. I'm accident. Calm down. They hire me, but they're like, yeah, you're not gonna know too much. You ain't gonna be here unless we need you. Don't you? We sent him to his death. I didn't have a choice. No. Again, with me and my opening doors the wrong way. I bet our buddy has totally read it. This is when we get discovered and we're like, heh heh heh, you have my laptop, huh? <laughs> Somebody's huh? been telling stories outside of class. On the floor! Oh, oh. Get out! Hands where I can see him! Who are you? Mr. Wayland Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. 
Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Oh. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That oh. was brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. <laughs> light anesthetic? I'm gonna get punched. <laughs> I knew it! All you need is a suitcase to fill British security. Uh. <laughs> I like how you both say this like you, you're experts. Have, have, you, sn have you snuck? Have you, have you gone over the limits of liquids and shampoos and stuff you can carry in flights through your suitcase? Because it's obviously the only thing you'd ever do, right? Is that game over? It'd be a bit of a short DLC, wouldn't it? I guess we're gonna get an insider onto what mm, this Warrider project does. That little hint be like yo pick up the camcorder what a familiar sight what's up yeah ghosty boys here you killed both of them apparently if i die i like how we are like if i die yeah he's realistic was it this now when i was about 15 i transferred about 30 pirate films from cyprus to the uk luckily my poor old man was the one stopped at customs oh <laughs> you're indeed your poor old man I mean, why? I feel like that's a strange thing to, you know, bother effort-wise. But yeah, I guess. I guess when you were fifteen was when the internet was not quite so really, really easy. You don't. But I don't know. Maybe there's more context to this story. I'm. <laughs> Fucked up. No shit. No, really? No. I mean, we did a good thing, but oh boy, did we not get away with it. I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. I have to, have to get help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't expose the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. I mean, you were doing the right thing. You were doing the right thing, but you also fucked up. Mm, a little bit of both there. I'm very aware I don't have a single battery. Hey, gang. Oh, am I gonna... I don't want to wait right See you later, non-friend. There's no vents or anything? No. Okay. There is a battery though. Thank you for batteries. I simply pick up Denna has. I'm just going to try Um, come in. Come in. It's not a door. They all stop to stare at you. I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to join that party. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't know what. Going on! <laughs> I was in Holly and when I went to the local shop I saw this all. 
So that's just a weird thought, a shop selling pet. Have you seen Zootopia? It's Zootopia, because you sound like the weasel who's just selling the pirate of movies at the streets with the little stall. I bought some and something to school for like tender each. First bit of the fall break. You started kind of, well, kind of young. Yeah, I mean, young, yeah. But hey, if your friends are going to pay a tenner for those movies, why not? You know, aside from, you know, it's just totally, totally, totally shouldn't break the law. No, no, totally. Yeah. Has the guard gone crazy or was that a completely self-defense? Don't like. Oh. Our peeping town. Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Around our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. No. You're gonna lose. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now! I kind of him to let us go through the door. I will get the fuck out of here, Mr. Man. You could, you could do whatever you like. I'm just, I'm just gonna in, go find a different party in a different room and uh, please let me close the door. Oh, that seems so much fun. Okay. Oh, hello. Just like, is there a vent? Is there a door? I'm a little bit dead. I couldn't figure out. I couldn't. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Really cool. Well, things were totally different in the early 90s. But it's very hard to find. But just for the, we had to work for it. We had to work for it for the internet. God once. God's once said. A little bit ripped. A little bit ripped. Just a little bit rip. It's fine. Fuckity 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 fuckity. Call that here. <laughs> tries to close door, nearly tries to open door. I don't want to open that door, so I'm quite content with that. There's the vent. I need to, I need to, I need to figure out how to jump onto, th come on, let me, there. I'm just an awkward mover. Okay, we're in the vents. Where we live, apparently. Maybe you should seek better employment. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. If you try to radio outside the house, I'm gonna give you a whole new subway to be scared of. You threatened me? Yes. I love it. Yes, 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 I am. <laughs> uh is there a wall of death? Shrimpy said it needs to be more. I mean we'd need a very big wall. A bit. Yeah, exactly. Death counter. 5,627. Okay, I'm out. Have a great stream. Thanks, Yuki. Have a nice outing. It makes me look good. Makes me look good. Death count, I mean. We'll get you your own wall of death. Don't you worry, Toby. There's radio in the prison. Shortwave. It's electronic. I can make it talk. Make it work for me. 
There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was so subtly, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted it to anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. I can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Um, the worst has yet to come. Subtitles very speedy. The subtitles are a bit, uh, a bit speedy. I will agree with that, Olay. I'm gonna debate pronunciations for all my life. Um, how far will we go? What's around the corner? I've never. I don't think I've seen a vent with a curve, but I'm not sure. I haven't exactly documented my vents. Somebody's down there. He's a chill dude. He's fine. He's the kind of things I can push. But we're just going. No, can we? Is there a door? Yes. Only enough of the things with the pushing. So have you always been a PC game? Mer. You can push it back the moment I leave. I I don't want to disrupt your room. I'm I'm just I'm just I'll close the door after me. I'll close the door after me. It's okay. It's okay. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, have I always been a PC gamer? Uh, mm. No. I mean, so when I was a kid, like I had a PlayStation One. And like my Game Boy, and then move on to DS, and like, a little teeny bit of PS3. But uh, to be honest, I played more PS2 games than that than anything. But like I've always played a little bit of, uh, play of the PC games. But I, I used to do a little bit of consoling as a kid. Ghosty friend. As far as Steam PC gaming, like all the games go, uh, uh, it's only been since like 2013. I'm I'm new. This is why I have a backlog of games that, like, everybody's played. Super Gamer Grill. You mean Game Grill? No. Your lights are doing the flash flash. Like, that was where the spoop spoop was. Maybe I want to go explore the other room before before I... Hey, wasn't that where the guard ran in? No, I can't because that's the door. That's the door I was on the other side of. Yes, yes. Mutters to self, not, not, not unfitting of a, of a resident here. <laughs> Can I open this? No, I cannot. I'm not gonna lie, this might be a short DLC stream for the sake of <laughs> me sleeping. We'll get to like the Officer, next please. big thing. I'm a doctor. I need you to hold my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here, please. Just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. I'd like a friend. I'd like a friend. I don't think it's gonna end well. Like, for, not not. I mean, he's either gonna force, he's either gonna betray me or he's gonna die horribly. And I'm gonna feel bad. But you know, I'd like a friend. Oh man! Don't don't steal doctor's clothes. The, the official rule is doctors are sick. <laughs> no, I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed the story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. What am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank god. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Girl, girl, good. Okay, I started gaming in PC a couple years ago, I think. This PC has, has <laughs> two MVs in here. That's a little bit of an old PC. <laughs> I think it would be UI next. Oh no, killer gamer. Killer gaming. <laughs> I'm a dire gamer, let's be real. You are next, Ruby. I am next. I am next. 
See, I'm at the point where, like, my, my original computer, the old one, that, like, the old, old first computer, it, it ran Windows XP. That's as old as it gets for me in computers. Do we have a vent? Can I? Is the door locked? No, it's not locked. I don't know why I thought it was locked. Plasmo, ghosty friend. Plasmo. There. I like that this is nearby. You have a tenant card. You have a tenant seventy. See, my computer kind of needs upgraded because I might kind of be using a seven seventy. Another one's coming. No. So I'm quite happy to play the older games because <laughs> my, my computer now is some newer games. You know, depending on what they are. But I'm sure the more intense ones with plus streaming would not be would not be chill. But you know, maybe I don't know because it's the CPU as well. It needs upgraded as well, ideally. It's not terrible, but you know, it could be better for all that I use. XP was good, shouldn't have made it up speed. And, I mean, I will say XP was good because like, it was my first operating system. It, it, it was the operating system to me. To little old me. I, I barely, I, I just about remember what like the local and like startup screen was like. I don't remember it too well. I spent a reasonable amount of time with Vista then after that for like yeah four or five years with Vista. That was that was eh. that was fun. XP was good. Windows 95 was great but no USB support it worked but then they messed it up. Why do they gotta mess it up? Have you played any games on DOSBox? No. No I have not. <laughs> Can I jump? No, I cannot. Oh, I can jump, but I can't jump up. Uh, <laughs> I'm. How am I missing a journal? This is the actual first journal journal. From J. Blair Markov to H. Grant Markov. Subject resignation for mental health. It's my oh shit. Miss, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa's Park of Leadville. In the coming weeks, concerning the res resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, a former consulting contract, assigned due to previously undiagnosed, undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Miss Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them. With the silver lining that Markov's secretary would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Markov Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pre pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. That's a dick move. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Here is Jeremy Black. I wonder if Jeremy is the... The little shit that um, was there when I found my laptop. Is this door open? It's so not open. Is there a vent up here that's open? Can I go just up? Can I just go up? Yay, I jumped. I can jump if I want to. I thought it was just to play old games like Tomb Raider on one on Windows 7 and above. Ah. I have not. I have not. This is bright. Sounds like someone's having fun up ahead. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I kind of I kinda have enough. I have enough of a backlog with the games that are like current, current or at least not super super old to need anything like that. That uh, I'm I'm quite I'm quite preoccupied. <laughs> Plus, you wait long enough and eventually they remaster shit anyway. Cough, Resident Evil. Ooh, it's so boring. But we are not scared yet. Why? Some oh boy, so yeah. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta explore a bit first. You gotta, you gotta set the scene. We'll get there. We'll get our spooks. Don't you worry.
um, some cannibalism. Some friendly cannibalism. Yeah, dude, it still really looks boring compared to the actual game. I mean, I... I'm gonna reserve judgment till we've actually... Oh, the cannibalism is so real. Oh, that's cool, the cooking and the limbs and the stuffs and the... Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna just much go further in because like I'm sure it's just set in the scene. And I mean this is this is, you know, essentially a little bit of a prequel from a different perspective because we we're here as things go to shit. We're here as things go to shit. And like Yeah, that can be a bit boring, you know, but he'll get there. I feel like he's definitely going to notice. Ooh. He microwaved his head. Ah. They like cutting up the bodies here in the cannibal's kitchen. Ah. Oh, Olay Abadoyle, thank you for following. Thank you so much. I, I hope we get to the parts that are less boring for you soon. But yeah, seeing real life bodies ever, people want to kill you. Easy. I mean, yeah, but nah, you know, I can't. You know, stories, gotta have a little bit of no pizza, please. Fresh meat. There's a delicious fresh meat right here. Nothing says my love like a microwave meal. Yeah, nothing says love even more like making you into a microwave meal. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die. When you finish the lawsuits that let you pry the footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Uh, I'm sure... Yeah, he's eating his fresh meat. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. He, he's enjoying that a bit much. <laughs> Man, I'm running out of batteries. Nothing. What's in this narrow little... It's a bath well, it's a locker room. A bathroom locker room? Uh, any batteries? I will take batteries quite happily. I'm sorry that battery battery collecting will not be the fun part, but but you know what? I need the batteries. <laughs> Gotta find more batteries. Yeah, Jeremy. It's what we're doing right now. There's a Okie dokie. I chuckle because behind the picture the frame makes it. He thinks it's not going to go as well as he hopes. Okay, so we need to find a key for some handcuffs. Um, can I? I can jump. Yes! And nothing in there. Assume on a guard's body, maybe. There must be a lot of male toilets in this game. I mean, it is taking place mostly in the man's ward, so... I think we- I think we're gonna have some cannibal issues. It's because there's a lot of boys. Yep, there's a lot of boys. Boys and boys need to go. Boys do need to go. Don't like this. Surely that's a sexist job. Hmm. Huh? Okay, as far as the science of the guards go, yeah, yeah. As far as the patient they're operating on, no, because they're already like it's a man's ward. That's that's just how it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm... possibly find me up here, right? See an old friend. There was one today. I remember that. Good luck. No, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. There is a vent there. Nice. I'm your friend. Everyone's your friend. Everyone's your friend. It's okay. It's okay. Pat's in it. Your horse. Go on, scratch. For me. He, he. Wonder how far he'll follow us. Oh, come along, friend. Aha! I'm gonna be sad when I you missed a bat. I missed a battery. Backtracks. I will not miss a battery. Here, shiny shinies. Was it back this way or was it in that side room? Either way, I'm gonna double check both. Aha. Uh -huh. Right here. Thank y'all. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm glad I can hear him better this time. I don't know what happened to you between now and when Miles encounters you, but... Oh, friend. You ended up in a straight jacket and everything. Maybe you want, maybe you liked your straight jacket. Maybe you were like, I want to wear a pretty jacket. He has an itch. Hopefully. I'm not scared. I just hope you're gonna be okay. Probably weren't okay. Let, let's face it, the end of the game doesn't apply. Anyone's ever gonna be okay. Never again. Never again. Hmm. <laughs> Document. Boring reading times. Ooh. From my almost here hand, we just kind of find form four, three, three. Friends, I got visions. Okay, author Ethan Shushkandaraja. Oh boy. This is a request for a specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa's show against the Markov Charitable Psychiatric Psychiatry Inc. You say it originally filed in 2010. At the time of Miss Cho's termination, the psychomatic effects of the morphine engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before Miss Kai and non-existent children, five of them fatal fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off of the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of the project will rather necessity sectors necessity of secrecy and the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations. Consulting and perceived injustice from several terminated parties, Ms. Cho has succeeded in requiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, provided amount of information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise. Well, there you go. That's why there's all men. Because it, it really wasn't having nice effects on all the women. So they moved them, or got rid of them, which is less nice. Aww, we no longer have our friend. I have to feed. <laughs> he has to feed! Oh, he's 
it's going around that way. I won't be on her. Make us laugh. Hey. Hey. Just, hey. I don't think he's okay. I really don't think he's okay. Feed me, see, feed me, Seema. Uh, we are not giant carnivorous flowers. And that guy is definitely not a giant carnivorous flower. That guy was quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Um, uh, no, south in that corner. Nope, nope. Gotta go around the other side. Gotta go, gotta, 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 gotta go around. Hey, look, open door. Fine. Why is it always when I say that things are fine? The game's like, <clears throat> yeah, about that. <laughs> All right, so if I wanted to burn, can I turn it off as well? I can. No. Please get distracted by the body back there. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Man. I'd rather be my own. Thank you very much. I was just concerned because I was like, that is saw thing. I need to feed. Man, you need to feed. I need to feed my fish. Clearly, he just wants to feed his pet fish. Is there anything at all about here? Over here is a doorway. That's what. Hmm. No batteries. Bounce. This is a bit of a dead end, isn't it? I guess we're gonna have to go through that doorway down to the closer to where his, uh, we're so, yeah, we're salt boys' voices. You can never assume people's names. Never. Or their fish. I believe the salt boy name is Martin Manera. Just came from there. I need to go huh? back. Back to his. Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know if there was a game through here, but uh, there's this door over there. I know, I know that was like back in the but like. Oh, we're back to the wonderful exit signs. Go up. I'll go up, but I must explore. Do you think the door opens? No. No exit door will ever open. Are we gonna find Father Martin? Are we gonna find Father Martin? Except from the appearance of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD, employed by Mount Massive Hospital, 1958. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. 
don't underestimate the contrib contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of, of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have family to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work, Doctor Newhouse. Mm. All the way up, man. Go up, I think. I think Shrimpy would be great in a horror film. Let her explore while everyone sits downstairs having tea and cake. Hey. But let let, let let's be real though. I'd be off exploring. Everyone would be sitting having to get. They get picked off by the serial killer. Then I'd come back downstairs and be like, "Guys, where did you all go? What happened? Wait, why is there blood?" And then I get stabbed from behind, and the credits would roll. <laughs> Dramatic fall. Y y you okay there, bud? Oh, he's not okay. That was not a little fall. I mean, obviously he's not okay. We, we can tell he, he's quite not okay. Um, I mean, I did the up. We must go up some more. Assuming I could jump. It's a big assumption. A big assumption. Let me grab onto something. Yay! I have survived the bigger fall. Have you, Sir Xy? Have you? He is okay. He's fine. Yeah, he's 100% okay. He just needs to, like, take a little rest, uh, have a little breather, but he's fine. You should Google April Fool's Day, an 80s horror film. It's scared me. Then it has a superb twist. You will like it if you like working things out. You know, I think that's currently on either Netflix or Amazon Prime, because I think I briefly looked at it when me and my friend were trying to decide what horror movie to watch on Monday, so, yeah. I, I will have to give that a little, I will have to check that out. Now, where, where, where am I going from here? Q, ah, cucumbers and roses, where do we go? Where do we go? Yeah, April Fool's Day, sounds intriguing. Plus no. Plus no. Do, do, do not want. Go, go bother other people. No, no. No. Can I jump to be... Can I jump up? Can I jump? I believe I can fly. I'm not going to I'm going to get to an actual... An actual location. And then I, I think I'm just going to... Uh, hey, someone's living up here. There's a ball mattress radio. I'm gonna like, call it a night. Because it's vaguely mentioned to our sleep and, and, and yeah. I, I'll get sucked into the rabbit hole of, oh gee, how far will I go? Oh gee, one, just one more room to explore. Oh gee, one more event. You are quoting many songs tonight. Am I? It's quite possible. I do have, I do sometimes do that. I just don't remember anything I've said other than Guns N' Roses because that was like 30 seconds ago. I believe I can fly. Oh, I, oh yeah, I said I believe I can fly, of course. Sleep, but you're rock hard. Uh, it's, you know what? I might be. I might be. Except I'm not. I'm squishy like a marshmallow. And the two are asleep. Like, I, I had a micro nap on the way home. I've had sugar. I've, I've, I've been an okay level of sleeps, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, please have a save and exit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it just, I'm gonna finish early. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna sleep. I, we'll see if I'm back tomorrow night, because Thursdays are, Thursdays are 50-50. Because I get back later anyway, so it will be a slightly later stream either way, if it happens. What time are you gonna be back at work? Mm. Okay, roll my credits whilst I do this. My credits thing is... I, see, I'm lucky tomorrow. I'm working 1 to 9, so I don't have to get up early. But at the same time, I'd like to go to bed at a reasonable time and not 5am. So that maybe just... Maybe I stop sitting awake until 5am. I'm, I'm just trapped in the bad... The bad loop pattern. The bad sleep pattern. 
Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thanks for all chilling with, with the slightly sleepy stream too and the on the overlass. We're getting through that. We are. It's gonna be good. I'll be more awake next time, and hopefully we'll get to the interesting stuff. The more interesting stuff. I think Saw Boy's interesting enough, but we'll get there. We're gonna find more interesting stuff. Oh yeah, you didn't mean you had. You didn't mean you had to stay here. Good night.